What is up, YouTube? What is up, Giants fans? It is your boy, Jake Dams, and we are back at it with another New York Giants video. Back at it with another New York Giants bigger. And before we get into this one, if you're not done seeing it, make sure you leave a like, make sure you comment, and make sure that subscribe button as your boy will be dropping a lot of Giants content um, as we get closer and closer to the 2022 NFL Draft. So if you like Giants content in general, make sure you stick around, and make sure you hit that red button and subscribe to the Dime Dropper Gang. And um, also, we hit, eight, we hit 800 subscribers. You know what I'm saying? The Grinder 1K is now 200 subscribers away. I just want to thank you to everybody who subscribed. Uh, the guy who subscribed two days ago, this is the guy who subscribed the first time I posted a video on YouTube. I just want to say thank you to all you guys. Love you guys. And um, let's hop into this video. So, Pat Leonard yesterday broke news that the Giants are looking to trade Kadarius Tony, making calls on what they can get for the 2021 first round draft pick. Now, first, it was on TikTok that he made this little breaking news report. And um, then Jordan Rana basically came out and doubled down on that, said that he spoke to an executive who said earlier today, yesterday, he heard Kadarius Tony was available. As new GM Joe Shane has done since he took over, he's exploring all options. Now, right then and there, I was kind of thinking to myself, we are actually about to trade Kadarius Tony. Now, why? It's a ton of reasons why. Some people think that he's not 100% committed to football. Some people think that he isn't, you know what I'm saying, he's a locker room distraction. He's just a distraction in general. And um, I can understand why they would think that because, you know, he did miss voluntary minicamp. Though, again, it is voluntary. And I was one of the guys who were kind of pissed that he wasn't there. And that's from a standpoint where I want to see Kadarius Tony at his best. I want to see Kadarius Tony make that next step to the NFL. I want to see him, you know, gain rapport with Brian Dable. I want to see him get the goddamn playbook. Because he doesn't have it right now since he missed voluntary minicamp. But I don't think those are reasons why you trade Kadarius Tony. I don't think that. And then Art Stapleton came out with a little tweet saying that Joe Shea did say this on March 1st at the Combine. That I don't think Kadarius Tony is a tradable piece. Again, if somebody calls, we're going to listen. But he's a good young player that our coaches really like. We've been in constant contact with him and we're excited to see what he could do. Now that was a month ago. That was a month ago. Do things change? Yes. But I don't think Kadarius Tony has done anything in that monthly span to get him shipped out of New York. I do not. Missing voluntary minicamp does not mean you are going to get traded because you missed it. No, it doesn't. Now, did I wish Kadarius Tony was there? Again, yes. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure that Kenny Gallaudet is a guy who really wished that he was there. He, should, he said that everybody should be here after the season that we had. And that's true. That's true. But again, it is voluntary. It is voluntary. And with Kadarius Tony. I know people have questions that is, is he really 100% committed to football? Can he be the franchise wide receiver? We don't know that. We don't know the answer to that question right now. We don't. And you hope that you, I hope that he is. I hope that he does show that he can be that franchise guy. He can be that dependable guy. Brian Dable in an interview with Carl Banks and some other guys on the Giants YouTube channel said that we want a player or we want to draft players that we can trust on and off the field. He said he wants players that he can trust on and off the field. Is Kadarius Tony one of those guys? It's a question to be answered. But again, Kadarius Tony, the source himself, said on Instagram, on an Instagram story, that if you believe everything on the internet, you are gullible. And when I saw that, I automatically thought to myself, somebody from the Giants organization called Kadarius Tony personally and said, we are not, sh we are not shopping you. We are not trading you. We are not, none of that is happening. It's all smoke. And um, I think it was perfect timing on Pat Leonard's hand. I think it was perfect timing. He misses voluntary minicamp. You already know the aura around Kadarius Tony's name. Let me make a little, let me, let me shake something up a couple of days before the draft. And that is making a report that the Giants are looking to shop their 2021 first round draft pick. I don't think the Giants are shopping him. I think they are listening to calls, like R. Stapleton said. I think they are kind of like Jordan, Jordan Rana said, exploring options. Again, I know you hear this almost every day with Joe Shane and Brian Dable. They have no ties to any Giants player on this roster. The guys that they signed a free agency this year, yes. But outside of that, no player on this team was drafted or brought in free agency-wise by Joe Shane. None of them. So is he going to answer uh, trade calls? Yes, he would be foolish not to. What if one day somebody called Joe Shane on Saquon Barkley and asked, can we... What's a deal got to look like for us to get him? We'll trade our first round draft for Saquon Barkley. Now, I know that wouldn't happen. I know that wouldn't happen. But um, he'd be foolish to not answer a call on a player that he didn't draft. He didn't. 
And uh, we heard this a couple weeks ago with Saquon Barkley that uh, there were trade talks, the rumors, and he said that Joe Shane, I want to say himself, called Saquon and said, we are not trading you. And I feel like that is kind of what happened with Kadarius Tony yesterday. It sounds kind of the same. It's kind of similar if you ask me. You know what I'm saying? Ever since Saquon Barkley, ever since the ending of the 2021, 2021, yeah, 2021 season for um, Saquon Barkley, we should trade him. Got to trade him. Get him off the team. Trade, trade, trade. And then you get the rumors that they're going to trade Saquon Barkley. And then Joe Shane comes in and shuts that down. Say, yeah, nah, we're not going to trade you, Saquon. We're not going to trade you. Now, could they? Yes. But back to Kadarius Tony, I feel like it's kind of similar. He misses voluntary mini camp, the or around his name. Then you get the rumor or you get the breaking news report that we're going to trade him. And then Kadarius Tony comes out himself on Instagram and says that, no, if you believe everything on the internet, you're gullible. You know what I'm saying? So in my opinion, uh, to basically wrap this all up, I think Kadarius Tony is a guy who should be given a second chance, given a chance to show can he be a franchise wide receiver because we saw with the ball in his hand last year as a rookie that he is very talented, very talented, all right? And um, I also think that he's a guy that right now isn't 100% committed to football. I, I don't feel, I don't get that feeling from Kadarius Tony right now. Now, could that change after this season? Could that change leading towards the 2022 NFL season? Yes, yes. Could we be looking at mandatory minicamp? He's there. He's there. He's talking to Kader. Not talking to Kader. He's talking to Kenny Galladay. He's, you know, interviewing with Giants media. Then we go into training camp and he's tearing it up. Yes, that could easily happen. So, in my opinion, I think Kader Tony is a guy that will be a New York Giant. I do not think Kader Tony will be shipped off. I do not think he will be traded. I think Kader Tony right now is a guy that has an aura around his name. That is easy to say that Josh should trade easy easy so i think Kadarius tony is a kid that just get him on the field get him on the field and i think you would be kind of happy with the results you get so that's gonna do it though if you enjoyed leave a like comment hit the subscribe button leave your thoughts down below do you think we should trade Kadarius tony do you think we should keep him do you think it's just whatever joe shane does i'm down with i know some fans that feel that way and i'm one of them whatever joe shane does i might be mad at it at the time because I have a, a little relationship with some of my Giants players like Saquon, Daniel Jones. But then I'll get over it because I got to understand that Joe Shane did not draft that certain player. He did not. So, like I said, though, if you if you, if you like, enjoy it. If you like, comment, hit the subscribe button. And until then, it's your boy, Jay Dimes. Make sure y'all stay safe. Love you, boys. Go with Giants. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and stay tuned. Peace.